Regular viewers will know that we spend a lot of time interviewing suits, telecoms and ICT executives of a certain age and a certain corporate level. So this week it made a refreshing change for me to talk with Mark Slavin, a 19-year-old first-year computer science student at Southampton University here in England. Mark might be young, but he's certainly showing entrepreneurial spirit. He's just won 25,000 euros in Vodafone's App Star competition. His winning entry, Jogger Tracker, a smart new app on the 360 platform. I got the Vodafone 360 handset for Christmas, the H1, and I was looking to develop an app for it basically. Heard about the Vodafone competition and just thought, you know, if I'm going to make an app for it anyway, why not enter the competition? So I gave it a go. Jogger Tracker, it's a running application. Basically, you go for a run, um, turn it on at the start, and it monitors your run, your progress throughout your run. It will tell you, you know, how many calories you've burnt, distance you've travelled, the average speed and the amount of time you spent. You get to review all that at the end of the run and also during, and then it's stored on the handset for after, so you can um, basically monitor your progress over time. Interestingly, Mark says he'll carry on creating apps for Vodafone and on the Android platform, but not for the iPhone. Mark's got good reasons for his stance, and Mr. Jobs, you do well to listen to what he has to say. It's important, and you might just learn something. Vodafone themselves are a very big company, um, and they do have a lot of reach uh, you know, across the globe, but obviously it is a newer platform, um, and so it doesn't have the same kind of level of users as Android or iPhone. But I mean, I think at this point it's up to Vodafone to just sort of keep pushing. Um, I think it's probably part the intention behind this competition was to get more interest and more developers. I quite like the look of the Android platform. It's a nice open platform from what I can tell as well and uh, it's got a big market reach. Um, a lot of users use Android now. The platform's grown really quickly and I think it's still growing. Um, so if I was to move towards a different platform, I think that'd be the one that I'd go to. As opposed to say, you know, like the Apple iPhone store. Everything it does is really quite a sort of closed nature and it's just always aiming to lock people in and make money from you here, there and everywhere. Jagger Tracker will go head to head in a public vote off with seven other European developed apps for an additional prize of a further 75,000 euros. You can cast your vote until May 21st.